Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Yay! If you see me for the first time, hi, how are you? My name is Queen, and on this channel, I talk about all things entrepreneurship, passive income, side hustle. I'm an entrepreneur myself, so I'm here to just give you guys all the free game that I can. Now, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you guys um, love my content. I'm really trying to be consistent on YouTube, so thank you so much for coming back. Now, I have an exciting video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a coloring book in Canva. You can either print them at home yourself for your kids, or you can decide to um, sell them as digital files to other people on the internet and make a little extra money on the side. Okay, like I said, this channel is all about side hustle, side income, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Anyway, let's get right into the video and I hope you guys truly enjoy it. If you have questions, leave it in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. I will try my best to answer them. Also, guys, let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to know about starting a business, side hustle. You know, if you guys give me feedback, I know the type of content to create for you guys, okay? Um, but yeah, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to send it to your friend. Always share free game. If you find free game, share it so that other people can learn and do something for themselves as well. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Okay guys, let's get right into this tutorial. This is going to be short and sweet. Now I'm currently in Canva as you guys can see and I'm going to be doing 8.5 by 11 inches for my dimension. Now there's so many different ways for you guys to do this but I'm going to save the best for last. Now the first thing that you guys want to do is if you're creating a children's um, coloring book, um, obviously it's going to be for your kids or maybe you're going to be selling um, the products to your final consumer. I'm going to work you through that as well. So you're going to be playing a lot in the elements tab here. So if you go into elements in Canva, let's say you, you, you want to create a coloring book for animals. So you're just going to search out the animal that you would like. As you guys can see, I already searched out a couple things here. So let's say we want to do a shark outline. For instance, you're going to type in shark outline and then it's going to come up. You're going to go here. You're going to determine which one that you would like. Let's say it's this one okay it's a shark in the ocean and let's say you want to add another shark in there let's say you want to add this one so a great way to do this is you just go into the search bar and you're going to search for what you want so shark outline shark outline is what i want for this so i'm going to do that now we're going to add a text so we're going to add a text here and we're going to say shark you can add any type of text that you want shark so i'm going to make this big let's make this 104 so now we have this but i also want the kids to be able to color the name shark or the animal shark i want them to be able to color this so i'm going to change my font to horizon okay once i change my font to horizon i'm going to go here and i'm going to go to effects once i click that i'm going to select this effect which is hollow once you click that it's going to make it look like this so this makes it easy for the kids to color the name of the animal is as well okay and i mean you can make the you can make this font let's say i want to i'm going to duplicate this and say s so now it's not just a coloring book it's like a learning book as well because like s is for shark but we don't have to make this um hollow so i'm going to remove that let's just say yes assuming let's say, let's assume that you're making um you know a coloring book for the letters of the alphabet so a to z and each page has like an image that the kids can color so now this is s is for shark now i mean this is just like an example right so another way that you guys can also do this is you can go into elements here and if you feel like you don't want to search for a specific thing so let's say um you don't want to search for like an animal and then 
put outline because obviously there's going to be a lot available to you guys so you guys can see you can add a lion just like this okay now let's assume that you don't want to do go this route and you want to do something different camera has this tool here called create your own which means that it allows you guys to create your own graphics so i'm gonna go all the way back okay so over here it says generate your own so you're going to click on that and then you're going to type what you want to generate so let's say i want to generate um a lion and lioness in a forest okay i also want it to be uh for children's coloring book page black and white outline so this is a prompt that I'm going to put give Canva and then I'm going to ask it to generate. Before I click generate, I'll make sure that I change this to portrait and then I'm going to say generate an image. So it's going to take some time and it's going to generate something for us and then we're going to see if we like it or not. Okay, perfect. So as you guys can see, if you want to take it a little bit advanced from what is available within Canva itself, give using this type of prompt is perfect in canva so make sure that you guys you can just change this it doesn't have to be you know what i've put in here it can be literally whatever you want so these are some of the images that we have here i'm going to create a new page let's say um i'm trying to see which one has the best coloring space and i think that i like this one so this one is a really nice one can make it a full page perfect okay so now i've generated an image that i like now let's assume that you don't like this you don't like this photo um you can select something else but let's assume that you like something like this you can go here and you can say generate more like this or generate a video which we don't need so if you say generate more like this it's going to give us more options just like this one so this is the second way to create outlines for your coloring book one is by using the existing template in canva which you can search up by in the search bar by saying whatever you want to create a template for and you're going to just say outline so you guys can see it's creating more examples of that um, let's say I want to add this one okay perfect so this is how you can utilize the AI um, within camera to generate any type of photo that you want if you use this prompt that I just imputed here okay so those are the two main ways for you guys to create your coloring pages or coloring book so if you don't know what to do just click um, search up coloring pages if you search up coloring pages there's going to be a bunch of things that you can um, select here in the outline okay just in case you don't have an idea of how to do the coloring pages so yeah this is how you guys can create your um, coloring books for your kids you know for them to do at home or for you to actually sell the product so let's say this is what the coloring page looks like and obviously you're going to want to add a cover page to your coloring page so let's say coloring page let's say this is your cover page obviously you want your cover page to be in color so what i'm going to suggest that you do is you're going to make sure that the cover page is really nice and very you know really really colorful so let's change this one to um let's say it's pink i'm going to remove the hollow for kids I'm going to change the background to, um, let's say the background is yellow. 
and we change this to white and obviously for the home page which is the cover page you would want to include um you know colorful images right Let's put some flowers. You want to make sure that your coloring page is the home page is really nice. It's going to be in color. Well, the rest of it obviously will be in outline. Let's put this on the side like that. Let's move this a little bit. Now, if you play around in Canva, you'll be able to do all of the things that I am doing right now. The, uh, the co more colorful it is I think the more attractive it would look to whoever you're trying to sell it to so let's do pink let's make this stick get the gist here so make sure the home page is nice and colorful well obviously the page themselves this is what they would look like they would look like outline and i've showed you guys how to do this as well now if you want to you know download this for your kids at home all you have to do is go to share and you're just going to go ahead and select download and you're going to download it as a pdf you can download a pdf print or pdf standard it doesn't really matter i would say so um let's say you download a pdf standard once you download this you can just go ahead and print it at home right also another thing that you guys can do is you can also download this as a pdf but also sell it to people um online now before we get into that if you wanted to if you looked at this photo and you're like you know it, it's a bit too contrasty it's too dark in certain in certain places you can select the photo and you can edit the photo all you have to go do is go to adjust once you get to adjust you can you know increase the contrast as so as you guys can see it's getting lighter you can go to blacks and i can reduce that And you can also increase the white so let's say i wanted to increase the whites a little bit so this is a great way to kind of reduce the um the the darkness in the video or the shadows or the contrast in the video okay so this is what it is like i said you can go ahead and you can download this as a pdf print it for your kids to color at home or alternatively you can download this as a pdf and you can sell them on etsy as a digital file okay it's going to be a digital product you don't have to actually go and print this and sell a physical copy i mean you can do that if you want but i mean i don't see why you need to okay so if we go over to etsy as you guys can see a lot of people are selling this as templates you can go ahead and you can down the, people can pay you as you guys can see people are selling this for as as you know as much as four dollars 68 and if they already have 226 reviews imagine how many people would have probably bought this coloring book so make sure that you know you if you're looking to make extra side income then selling coloring book would be a great idea for you guys as you guys can see it's just four dollar twenty a lot of people are selling especially selling for eight dollars and they've sold they have over 637 reviews and as you guys can see if we select this all they're selling is um flowery uh outline so if you go into canva for instance you can find an outline called let's go all the way still let's come here and say we want to do um flower outline as you guys can see there's going to be a ton of that you can just download it here you make it bigger 
and literally that's all you've created like uh if you do this and you do maybe four or five different types you have that you can create 20 pages of flower outlines that people can color and that's it your you, this is going to take you less than I don't know less than five minutes to set up and if you can go into into um etsy you can sell for as much as eight dollars per download as you guys can see it says digital download here so this is a great way for you guys to make money online if you're looking for a side income if you're a mom then definitely check out um coloring books and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel and send this to a friend